Welcome back to Cyber Sea of Galilee DSMME on this beautiful November day, a very gray November day. Winter is definitely coming and yes, I am uh, chilling. However, you are worth that much to us that we just want to come and be with you and remind you of something. And um, I was thinking the other day that we hadn't done this DSMME of Galilee a story yet about what happens to in the tra Dominican tradition when a Dominican dies. Now, you will remember on November 8th, we had to celebrate the Feast of All Dominican Souls. But one thing that I really do want to mention also is the fact that when a Dominican dies, there's a long 800-year-old history of how we pray for that soul. So, after the death and the person, the, the religious is obviously um, clothed in the Dominican habit and the casket. And when, when she or he is brought back, um, let's just take it from the sister standpoint, we sisters line up in what is called a De Profundis Hall. The De Profundis means out of the depths. It is one of the Psalms that we recite daily during Lent. And daily, um, many times or several times during each day throughout the entire year, but daily in the penitential Psalms during Lent. In any case, it really is praying for the souls in purgatory and for the resurrection of all the dead. And so it's a very special psalm to us, but we recite these prayers in what's called the Libra, which is deliver me, O Lord, from eternal death on that dreadful day, etc. And so we recite this as the casket is being brought in, taken to the church where the sisters then, or chapel where the sisters then pray. As time goes on, the body is removed to another adjoining room and the sisters pray, or it could remain in the chapel, the sisters pray throughout the night. We sign up for various hours to pray for the soul of that sister. Many times various sisters pray in at the very same hour, but, but someone is with her, her body, that entire night. And then the, with the dawn comes the resurrection. So with the day, comes the prayers which we have already prayed the the prayers for the dying obviously have been prayed the prayers when the sister's body came back and prayers throughout and then the office of the dead the liturgy of the hours office of the dead has been prayed for her and rosaries have been prayed many many times and then the beautiful um, mass for the, the funeral mass and so all these things have very strong um, very strong formats or very strong traditions in the Dominican order. And so when either a friend of the Dominicans or certainly a Dominican, his or herself dies, um, the order throughout the centuries has told us how to really pray for the soul of that sister. And what I particularly love is it's done immediately. We don't say, well, let's wait a week. We immediately go into prayer um, we also are with that sister when she is dying, and the last thing that she hears in the tradition of the Dominican order is the sisters singing the Salve Regina, or the priests singing and brothers singing the Salve Regina for their beloved dying one. And so the, the Hell Holy Queen. So with Mary, we believe she takes us to heaven for our own resurrection. And so we have a great strong, a very strong devotion to the Blessed Mother. So if you have followed this in a bit of a jumbled fashion, you will realize that there's a lot of prayers um, that are prayed for the deceased, um, certainly as she is dying and then afterwards for several days. And then we, we put her constantly into our prayers from then on. So um, lots of prayers during this month of November, which, in which we also pray 15 Mysteries of the Rosary for all those who have gone before us. And so during this month, we will pray our entire large 15 mysteries of the rosary for the souls in purgatory coming right out of the month of october during which we prayed an extra rosary every single day in community so it's all about to jesus through mary may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen so you start